It was the fatal hit and run that became international news, made all the more shocking because of the man behind the wheel, the infamous Marion Suge Knight. Once called the most feared man in hip hop as co-founder and CEO of Death Row Records. Suge helped define the West Coast rap scene of the 90s. But with his ruthless kingpin image came allegations of very real criminal behavior. Was it all a terrible accident or another example of a dangerous man's well-publicized rage? And just who was the person caught in the path of Suge Knight's deadly drive? He's just not another victim. He's my father. He is Terry Carter. Do you think that day in that parking lot, he was trying to keep the peace? Yes, absolutely. I think that's what he was doing when he walked up. How did you find out that your father was gone? I received a phone call um, from one of his childhood friends, and he kind of just told me right there over the phone. He said, uh, Nikaya, and I said, yes. He said, um, your dad's been killed. I didn't know how severe accident was and I found out when I got to the hospital actually on the screen in the waiting room that's how I found out Terry Carter the playmaker the peacekeeper a real man with a family was gone